here is today's little project. 2004 Jaguar S-Type. A uh, regular customer of mine. Uh, really nice guy. Um, has had a Ferrari. Has sold it and bought himself a Porsche. Not quite sure why. I think it was maintenance. Um, but anyway, he has this lovely little S-Type. It's, it's in, the, in very nice condition. I do like this S-Type. Uh, I did a video on the, uh, the transmission, I think it was. So, um, he's had issues with the, the rear brakes, and as you can see, the rotor is totally fucked, uh, and the pads are next to nothing, so we need to get them off. Um, initially, to remove the caliper itself, this part, you'll need a 12 millimeter winch. And if it gets stuck, then you're going to need to hold that little baby there, but oh, this one's playing nice. Now, some people like to remove the, the handbrake mechanism. I would prefer not to. Why take off shit you don't need to? We'll see, won't we? Huh? Maybe I'm going to be wrong. Ooh, wouldn't that be a surprise? Ooh, Gary, make a mistake. Nah, never happens. Now, these uh, pads currently are, they're locked on their solid. Why are they locked on their solid, you may will ask. It's simple. With this particular model of uh, Jaguar S-Type, whenever you turn the ignition off, the parking brake goes on. It's a real fucking pain in the ass. Because if you do not remember every time you get in the car to release the parking brake or as you Americans call it the emergency brake good luck using that in an emergency um, you're going to drive down the road with the brake on now I can't get this off you know, it, it, it's lock solid so now what I've got to do is I've got to turn the ignition on release the brake pull it off turn the ignition off. What a bloody faff. I mean, what a fucking stupid idea. But that is what I believe I need to do in order to replace these pads safely. Now, I'm going to put my hands up and say, I don't know what's going to happen when I turn the ignition off with the caliper off. It could be a total disaster. Let's hope not, huh? I prefer cars where you do things for yourself. I hate anything that is self-drive or, you know, I'm going to steer you away because you're going to hit something and instead I'm going to steer you into something else. Oh, you're getting too close to that vehicle. So I'm going to put the brakes on even though you're well aware of when to put the brakes on. It's stupid. There's an advert for, I don't know what the fuck it is, Nissan or whatever, and there's some stupid asshole driving, talking to his wife, trying to decide on what to eat. He's not paying attention to what he's doing, and the car brakes for him before he hits a truck that's got tacos. You don't deserve food, for one thing, and you certainly shouldn't be behind the wheel of a car. If you can't fucking drive, don't buy a car. Sorry, did I rant? Of course I did. Okay, let me step to the front of the car, turn the ignition on, release the brake, and then see if I can remove this. Give me a second, I've got to go get the key. All right, just to... Uh, Hang on, is it? Are we recording? Yeah. Just to enlighten you here, turn the ignition on, put your foot on the foot brake, release the electric handbrake, and then you should be able to get this off. What a stupid fucking idea. Now, the pads have fallen out of my hands. I'll be honest right now and say, I don't know what's going to happen when I... Uh, decide to turn the ignition off it's going to try and engage the handbrake but of course there are no pads 
I want to put it in position just in case something weird happens and at least it'll clamp on the disc. Give me a second. Right, what I can tell you is, it got really fucking upset with me and pushed everything it fucking well could. What a crappy design. I'm sorry, I'm a Jaguar man and that's a fucking stupid design. Alright, so now the piston has come pretty much as far as it can go. You have to use a special tool to wind it back in, which is what I'm going to do. I sincerely hope, do not know, um, if I'm going to be fighting the brake, handbrake mechanism, we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is get this bracket off and replace the rotor, and then maybe I'll have to turn the ignition on to wind the piston back in. I honestly do not know. This is such a fucked up mechanism, I can't believe anybody allowed it to go into production but they did oh probably because Ford owned it and they don't give a shit about the customer excuse me let me remove oh, oh let me tell you hang on to remove that inner bracket uh, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter and a big ass rubber hammer to loosen it and then uh, there you go rubber hammer you get the idea don't you we'll be back right once you have removed this caliper beastie um, it's a good idea to give this a bit of a clean and a light uh, touch of uh, grease I use copper grease also make sure these babies move in and out easy these are pretty good on this particular vehicle and they move in and out easy. If they didn't, I would clean them up and uh, re-grease them. Next, you've got to take this fucking thing off. The only way I know, because as far as I can tell, there are no um, screws holding it, is to get your friend and give it a good fucking whack. Ah, then off that comes. If you're a nice guy, before you put it back on, you'll clean this up, and that's I, what I will do, with your, your Dremel or whatever, clean up that surface. Then put some copper grease on these surfaces and around here. That way, the poor motherfucker that comes after you can actually get this off without a struggle. Now this rotor, as you can see, is well and truly cattle truck. And those that you don't know rhyming slang, it means it's fucked. So, uh, my customer has brought nice new uh, rotors, nice new brake pads. So now it's, it's up to me to clean this up, grease it up, put the shit back on. And really, that's pretty much it. Now, if you've got this far in the video, you will have noted that... Uh, it's a case of reversal of what you've just done. However, let me just re-acquaint you, excuse me, with this. This has to be wound in with the special tool. I have that special tool. There are various tools you can use. You can use a pair of fucking pliers if you like. It's a fucking battle. Um, but do not whatever you do do not squeeze it back in it must be wound back in and my preference is to clean this up and again put a little copper grease on here a little copper grease on these two surfaces and then everybody should be happy and it should work now i'm going to before i put this back on to the main area um you know, the main caliper etc is hey you can stop that um, I will take the handbrake off again and then hopefully it will wind itself back. I won't put money on it. 
Now also while you're here, have a look around. Um, I mean this car's what, 2004? So uh, what are you looking at? 16, 17, 18 years old. The, the, the rubber is fucked. It, there's no two ways about it. It's not causing a problem yet, so I'm going to recommend to the customer just keep an eye on it. Um, you know, when, when you're driving, if you start hearing some strange noises from the rear, then we need to start replacing things. At the moment, everything seems to be okay. You know, there's no strange noises. Um, but all of the, the bushes are split. In fact, let me pick you up and take you for a walk here. In fact, let me get you a light too. You see here? Look at this. Totally shot. However, the joint is still pretty good. Down here, the ball joint. Yep, same thing. Um, should you replace them now? Well, it depends on your budget. <laughs> the car's getting upset because the door is open. Um, excuse me, I will, I will go and deal with that in a second. Um, but, you know, these, these rubber bushes, these rubber sleeves, these rubber gaiters, I mean, it, it is, it's, it's totally fucked. Um, but the joint itself at the moment seems to be okay. It will fail. There's no two ways about it. It will fail. Just not yet. And you'll start hearing noises and then you go, okay, fuck. And then not only do you do that, and you do that, but then you do that, and you do that, and you do that. And, you know, you're getting, you're getting into some big money. And you may not want to do that. It's... It's not cheap. Uh, I'm not sure, but I believe the, um, what's the word? Jeez, not the bearing. Christ, I can't even think of the right bloody word. Why does my mind fail me? The joints, let's put it that way, for want of a better word. These, you may not be able to just buy those separately. You may have to buy the whole control arm as just opposed to the bushing. Same up here. I don't know. I've, I've not researched it. But, you know, you've got to be prepared for that. And then you're starting getting into some major expense. And do you really want to do that? All right. So uh, there you are. Uh, put it all back together. It's really easy. You know, you just took it apart, didn't you? Excuse me. Let me move you to the right position. Yeah, you took all of this apart. At least if you followed my video, you did. And now you're looking at it and going, oh fuck. Yeah, well, you took it apart, now you've got to put that baby back together. As I said, the only other thing I'm going to do that you're not going to see on video is I'm going to take that parking brake off and wind the piston in and keep my fingers crossed that everything's hunky-dory. Okay, there you go, guys, girls. Get out in the garage, do some shit. Okay just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Um, two things I have not mentioned that I should have mentioned. Um, when you get a brand new rotor disc, don't forget to clean it up with brake cleaner. It has a protective coating on it and you don't want that on the rotor and getting on your new brake pads. Number one. Number two, when putting these carrier bolts back in put some blue Loctite not red blue if you put red on you will fucking struggle to get these bloody things out I'm oh, sorry my cardboard box is going for a walk um, at least with blue the next guy has a chance of undoing these things with red he's gonna call you all sorts of names under the Sun all right just wanted to put that in and mention it. Nice blue Loctite. Now get out in the garage and do some shit. Okay, as you can see I've now cleaned this up and I put grease around it. And those observant ones of you will know that I've put grease on the studs as well. It's just something I like to do. It's a, it's a nice thing to do. It makes getting the lug nuts on and off a lot easier. That fits
fits on there rather nicely. So now, as I mentioned, these are these are good. They're they're moving in and out beautifully freely. Um, so what I want to do before I put this in is just hang on, hang on a second. Grab my little uh, tub here. Just put a light smearing of copper grease on these metal surfaces. Now, is it essential? No, yeah, probably not. Is it a good idea? Fucking right. That makes the pad slide in and out easier. And you know, we all like it to slide in and out nice and easy. So, that's done that. Now let's move over there. Now, next thing is to grab your trusty bolt and a little bit of the blue Loctite. And you will see where it was before, so you don't need to cover the whole thread. You just need to put a bit on there, and it, it'll it'll go where it needs to go. All right, that's... Uh, excuse me, I've got to wiggle my ass in here. Uh, and ignore these marks. It has been cleaned. They're just little scuff marks. And if you put the caliper on, <laughs> the, the caliper magic bracket on the right way round, it will probably help. Oh dear, my brain hurts, sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Pull you, get back on there. Pull you, in there. And you, Mr. Caliper, out of my way. This is always fun. You need three hands for this. And unfortunately, I, I was born with two and well, maybe that was a good thing I don't think I'd have liked three <laughs> oh dear oh dear and because I'm doing this on camera it's a fucking joke isn't it you know if I'd have had any brains I'd have tied this <laughs> such fucking Christ come on thank you if I'd had brains, which I don't, I sold them. I got two cents. Um, what I would have done was uh, tied up that caliper out of the way, but I didn't. So you're just going to have to live with watching me fuck up. All right, now. Uh, grabbing one's 15 millimeter wrench. Oops, wrong way. Come on, get it right. There we go. Let's just bring this one up and then we'll get the second one in. Okay, we are close but no cigar yet. And we don't want to do it up too tight because we have another bolt to go in. When we can find that bolt, it will go in. Where'd you go, you little fucker? Oh, there you are. Yep, same scenario. A little bit of loopy juice. Don't go crazy with this stuff. There's no need. Now, stick that in your bottom. Uh, in the bottom. I guess you could stick it in your bottom if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but hey. Each to their own. Mine is not the reason why. Oh gosh, what's that from? Ours is not the reason why ours is but to do and die. Go on, leave it in the comments. You and I both know it. And see if you can do it without Googling it, huh? Yeah, yeah, little sneaky buggers. You're going to Google it and then tell me I'm an idiot. I know. Okay, I pinch that. Sorry, you're probably not seeing much, are you? Turn you a bit. There you go. Does that make you feel better? Okay. Now, I don't want to do this with my ratchet wrench because I want to give it a, a, a couple of taps. 
before I top it down with Gary Talk. Fuck <coughs> me, that was tight. <laughs> All right, and on the bottom one, it's onion to cover. Hotter. Whew. Oh, that motherfucker's tight, I tell you now. Give me one more pull. Right. Oh, you didn't use a torque wrench. No, that's because I'm experienced and I know how it feels. Right, next, we grab our trusty kit. This is a um, kit from, you know, your good old friend, Harbour Freight. Disc pad caliper toolkit. Can you do it without? Yes, of course you can. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move you back a bit. Yes, you can do it without this, but this makes it so much easier. Now, you'll look at this, or some of you will look at this and go, oh, the fuck? Oh, that looks so complicated. It's not. Grab a little beastie here, a little beastie here, and then find the appropriate piece. What do you mean, Gary? Well, these have a certain distance so let's try number six and fuck me didn't I get it right first time so number six goes on there you then take the kit and put it to one side then you grab this little beastie and you slip it over the handle just like that oh ho 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 then you put that in there and you line the two pins up with the two pins that are already lined up then you wind it <laughs> sorry it's a little fiddly fiddly do someone oh don't ever lend your tools to people right, let's try that again shall we children there we go. let's get that all lined up and you we're nearly there sorry this is a yeah uh, look at that a tricky woo here. Come on. Why are you giving me grief? Mm, because we can. <laughs> Get up. You know where you belong. <clears throat> Gosh. Oh, am I having such trouble with this beast. Come on. There we go. I'm getting there. So now you wind this back. Sorry, that took me a, a few moments to line that up. Whilst keeping it on the piston. Hoping I don't have to get a wrench for this, but I might. Because now we want to turn the oof, turn the handle. Mm. Nah, it's not going to do it. And I think one of the reasons it's not going to do it is I'm fighting the handbrake mechanism. Yeah. All right. So now I've got to turn the ignition on. Release the handbrake. Then I can wind this in. What a fucking stupid idea. Excuse me while I get up off the right fucking ass. Turn the ignition on and wind the piston in. <sighs> Christ. <laughs> oh, shut up.
Hmm. And bike is still on. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. Really? Okay, uh, oh, and if you're wondering, yes, I have already checked the brake fluid level in the front so that it isn't pissing everywhere. Oh, what a crappy design. You know, I never bitch about crappy designs, do I? Ha 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 ha. this little job. <laughs> yeah, no, you can hear the boing, boing, boing in the background. That's purely because I've got the ignition on so that the handbrake doesn't uh, attack me. Otherwise, you're really going to fuck yourself. Having dropped this, it takes a few moments to get the shit back together. Oh, 
right there. I'm sorry if you're not getting a good view of this. That's just too fucking bad. Come on, piston, in you go. There you go, baby. Yeah, we're nearly there, aren't we? Let me put the pads in. Get you sorted. Get you greased. Make you work like you should. Oh, we're almost there. Bit of a battle, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, but you're just going to have to fucking suck it up, aren't you? I think we're there. All right. So, loosen this. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, get all that shit out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Using the, uh, oh, fuck me, parts. <laughs> oh. All right. Now, let's have a look here. <coughs> oh, I'm new. Now, let's get these on. Now, it should be noted that the... Uh, <laughs> when I took them off, these didn't exist. These are the little uh, tensioners, for want of a better word that the, uh, the pad slides on and they hold the pad still not quite sure uh, why they weren't on but uh, you know, shit happens huh oh, hang on sorry let me just double check yep no I'm doing right okay actually tell you what actually he says We'll just put that on there now. A little bit of grease on there now. There we go, that's good. Alright, uh, same thing here. And this really is just a, a light touch of grease. It's, don't go fucking crazy. Oh, hang on, there's a bit there. And that is not allowed. And you do not want grease there. Okay, try again, shall we? This is uh, not easy to get in for some reason. I'm quite sure why. Should just pop in. Mary, Mary Poppins. <coughs> there we go. Right, now we grab a, a pad or two. Look at those nice select pads. Let's get those in. Ooh. Sorry, they're a little tough to get in. Oh, hang on a second. Ah, there is something amiss here. Whoa. Different? They shouldn't be different, no, that looks the same. Give me that pad. No, it's the same. So, why are you not fitting? Sorry about this, guys. Sometimes you really have to wonder about these manufacturers. For some reason, oh, that's going to pull out more. Alright, let's see if I can uh, persuade it.
Get your boots. Well, that's odd. That is really odd. The bottom one fits. The top one doesn't want to fit. But, okay, you know, maybe I'm being stupid here, so it's always a distinct possibility. Well. What I detest is that things were changed. And well, maybe that's why they weren't there. Because they're wrong. They shouldn't be there. That's odd. That is very fucking odd. I'm sorry guys, this is uh They're exactly the same. But the top gap is different to the bottom gap on this caliper unit. Sorry, you're not really getting a good view here, but Oh, shit. Okay, I know I'm not fucking rocket science man, but <laughs> all right. I'm sorry to say I'm not going to put those in. Well, let's see how the pads go. Pads fit fine without them. grease the bits that need to be greased. Um, I don't know, maybe these pads also fit other vehicles that need those shims. These, for whatever reason, I mean there's no way I'd have got that in there. Let, let's uh, slip this on here. Push those in. So it is a little tricky. You have, you have to make sure you get the flats in the correct position. Then, uh, grabbing your trusty bolts, and I like to put a little bit again, not much, just a little bit of uh, um, Loctite on these. Is it essential? Probably not, in all honesty. Maybe I'm just being an anal prick. But there you go. You do what you want to do. I do what I believe is correct. If you don't believe it's correct, and you don't want to do it, that's your choice. Okay, now... I gotta say, I've done all of this with the ignition on and the handbrake released. Now what I need to do is tighten these up, make them good and tight. Before I even turn that ignition off, because as soon as I turn it off, it's gonna apply the brake, the parking brake. Okay. Oh shit, did I get that right in there? No, I didn't. Damn it! Damn it, musky! Oh, so many fiddly bits. Fiddly, 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 fiddly. Jeez. Come on, Loctite, you don't work that quick. It'll take ages to work. I'm sorry, I'm just about to show you something I... Ah! 
I wanted to get right and I missed. Well, hands up, I fucked up. Did you? Not really. Yeah. Right. Let me, uh, let, let me entertain you. Let me show you. Right. Hey, get off. These. Gotta make sure they don't poke through. I, I missed it. And it poked through. You don't want them poking through because you want them to tension the pad to stop it rattling. It's just one of those silly little things, but you gotta make sure you get it right. There we go. That's better. Huh. <coughs> Yeah, and you're going to have to fight against them. It's a spring. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, that bong 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 is driving me fucking nuts. I got it this time. You've got to be careful of that shit, you know. It's easy to make a simple mistake like that. And whilst it's not a terrible disaster, it's not right. Okay, here we go. Final locking. Then we can put the wheel on with the nice new lock uh, lug nuts. Uh, this particular customer. Um, it's fed up with those crappy Jaguar ones. Sorry, Ford ones. And they are, they're crap. So he's bought himself a brand new set of nuts. <coughs> Wish I could do that. <laughs> right. <coughs> okay, now. I can go and turn the ignition off and the handbrake will apply and squeeze that motherfucker. Give me a second. I've got to get up and it's difficult. Now, ignition is off. And look, locked solid. That's how it should be. Again, rewind warning to all you people that own a Jaguar S-Type with the fucking piss-ass electric brake. Every, every time you get in the car, you have to release it. It's a stupid fucking design in my book. It's designed for morons. But there you go. As I said, ignore this. I'm just going to give this another wipe over now. Put the wheel back on. This side is done. Then I fight the other side. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, ding your dong. And uh, get out of that garage and do some shit.